for another video, but this time I'm going to stray from what I usually do. I know it's probably a little late to do it now, but I'm going to do a reaction of the last season of the uh, Star Wars The Clone Wars. And this is going to contain spoilers, because I'm mostly just going to focus on the Siege of Mandalore, so if you haven't seen it yet, I HIGHLY suggest you do. I keep telling my sister to, just because it's an animated TV show. Shouldn't take away from the fact it's one of the best shows. And not just in Star Wars, but uh, in general. But, uh, so if you haven't seen it, I'd suggest you go watch it right now before I start. So I'll give you five seconds. Okay, if you're still here. Wow. I mean, can you... I don't think you could have ended the TV show any better. Like a lot of Star Wars fans, I think we were all really disappointed how it originally ended. What, and then they had, uh, with season 5, and then they had the Lost Missions season in, I think, 2013 or 14, where they released ev episodes that, un that were unaired, but then they, um, but then they aired them, and I was so pissed when they killed off fives, so I was pissed about that. But anyways, but the, I mean, just the, let's just focus on Siege of Mandalore, you know, since it takes place at the, around the same, or the, exactly the same time as episode three. It's just unbelievable, the graphics, the story, the lines, and especially the um, lightsaber fight between Ahsoka and Maul. I know that they had like they had the they had the guy that originally played Maul in um, Phantom Mes Menace do um, that kind of um, stop motion kind of stuff to make it look more real, and that's how and it was just awesome. I actually commented on a thing on on YouTube, like some other thing, saying that that was one of the greatest lightsaber fights of all time. And if you do, if you don't think so, then you really need to check ch uh, ch uh, check yourself. Cause that was definitely one of the best, and it's just, it's just not. And then we get the connection between Rebels and Star Wars with Bo-Katan and um, Savine's mother uh, making an appearance. So uh, they closed up that. Uh, they connected those two and that close. But then the last two episodes with victory and death, and then I, you know, just victory and death, just. So many things between the uh, be, be, between the cruiser crashing, like that represents that the Clone Wars is now boom because it was just the ma the major ship in the Clone Wars, and now it's just it's like the fall and and just you know the thing that hit me the ho one of the things that hit me the hottest was um watching uh, was seeing Jesse's helmet when they. Oh yeah, during that entire scene from where they, after the crash and everything, for those two minutes, I didn't move, I didn't say a word, I was just sitting there in complete and utter awe, and I just sat there for another two minutes after the episode was done, just saying, nothing, just nothing, because I just, I mean, it left you wanting more, just as much as every other YouTuber probably is saying that or thinking that. But that's what you want. It's like the, it's, it's something to compare it to. It's like the complete opposite of the last season of Game of Thrones. It leaves you wanting more. And I hope, I kind of really want them to give us more. Like, maybe do an arc about um, Rex, Rex before the Clone Wars. So, uh, or something like that. I don't know. I just want more. Give me more. It's like a drug. You want more, and this is in the, but in a good way. And then we, even though we knew Ahsoka, Maul, and Rex were going to make it out of there alive, it just the between the whole freaking see. Uh, it's just amazing how it just keeps you on the edge of the seat, even though you already knew what was going to happen. And to my point, I mean, we already all knew that Order sixty six was going to come was was coming. We all knew it was gonna happen. I was like, "Oh my god, when is it gonna happen? When is it gonna happen?" I was like, "Keep." I was like, "My grinding my teeth," and then it just brought so much. Even though we knew what was gonna happen, we were so just like Maul. I was afraid. I was afraid when it was gonna happen because we had fallen in love with all these clones: Tub, Hard Case, Fives, Rex, Cody. Um, who else can I? Kicks, and and, and Jesse and Echo. It's just, and it's just, 
It's just freaking amazing, man. Just freaking amazing. And then another another um a good uh good thing to point um point out with them the thing with um Ahsoka trying to stop them all sh uh, take off like that's a little you know shout out to um Star Wars um Star Wars I I don't really like the new trilogy I, I feel that after Force Awakens everything went down a hill but for, uh I'll leave that for now um so we already know that Rex and Ahsoka are gonna be in the second season of The Mandalorian we don't know to how much of an extent but we're, uh, they're finally gonna make their live action appearances because. They've been such beloved characters, and again, just be just because the show is animated should not take away uh, from it. Uh, yes, the first two seasons of Star Wars: The Clone Wars were that great. I mean, I mean, I still love a few of the episodes, but the animation. W but that was when it was just starting out. Then, as the s uh, series goes, it gets better and better and better. It's not really a kids' show. I think it's like for people like from t like thirteen on, but. Yeah, it's just, and then the most, and that one of the most polarizing scenes is when Vader, and then we know don't know whether it's months or years. I'm pr I'm probably thinking years after the crash. Then they finally found it, find it, and then you have the storm, the storm, the the snow storm troopers and those um, dr the drones that I freaking hate. We I can't I can't think of the name of it for some reason. We have and then Vader, of finding Ahsoka's um. Um, lightsaber and then lighting it and then looking up and you can see his eyeball and a lot of people are saying that his eyeballs were blue but they, they were red they were red um so and then they have that shot of him with the blue lightsaber blowing through and with his cape and everything in front of the wreckage the wreckage that was definitely one of the most like if you want a wallpaper on your wall or something that's something you'd want it is just Un freaking believable! You can't really. T I can't. I don't know how else to describe it because it was so good. Dave Filoni, thank you, thank you, for what you have done for Star Wars and how you have made so many of us thankful that that you for what you've done and everything. Uh, and now you kind of wish that uh, Episode Three was a little bit better. And everything, so, yeah, I, I don't know what else to say, um, we can't wait for the, um, uh, Mandalorian Season 2, and then, I guess another theory you could throw, is that there were a few other, I mean, they probably could, like, do prequel series of the Star Wars The Clone Wars, so they could get a little bit more ching to ching out of it, I kind of hope they do, I don't care how much it is, I would love to watch it, as I think a lot of people would. But I think maybe it's a good way to leave it like that because you leave wanting more if you keep, like, because you don't want to over milk something to the point where you can't stand it anymore. And maybe that's what they might do with Star with Clone Wars. I know, but they, I heard that they're going to maybe do something for Savine and Ahsoka for Rebels or something like that or Ezra. Um, so who knows? So I hope you enjoyed the video. I don't care if it's as long as it is. I had to get I had to get my opinion out there because it was so damn good. So, till next time.